dressed all in black and she had her own little pool cue case like she's like like she's the pro pool player right and she just comes up to the table and says who wants to play me she's like really aggressive like it's like who wants to play me and we all just kind of looked at each other and we're like I don't want to play this girl. I don't know what's going what's going on here, you know, like wow. And it's one of those things like is she really good and or you know, I don't want to be the one either to lose to her or I don't want to beat her or whatever. So I just stepped up and said, "Okay, I'll play you." Because nobody else was doing it, right? And even though out of the four of us, I was probably the worst player player I'm not that I mean I'm okay but I don't still play that much right and so she's like okay rack them or whatever so she racks them she racks the balls and I forget who broke if it was me or her but I think it might have been her I think I let her break but nothing went in, so then it was my turn. Now, here's what, I've never, I had never done this before, I've never done it since. I ran the goddamn table. I, it was my turn, and then she never got a turn after that. I think, like I said, I think she broke. And I sink all all my shots. Boom, 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 boom. All the way to the eight ball. Called the pocket. Boom. Game over. <coughs> she picked up her cue stick in her little cue stick case. And just literally huffed and puffed and sl slammed open the door and just left. All pissed off. And... It was so funny because then all the guys, I turn around and they're all like, whoo, they're like, whoa, she's pissed. You pissed her off, you know, and all this. And I'm like, I was like, I was like, I didn't know, like, should I go easy on her? Should I? And so then I, I decided, well, you know, I'm just going to play my best, you know. And they were like, dude, you smoked her, you know. It was the weirdest thing. I, I mean, and then I, I, so I don't know what her deal was. If she was, she wanted to become like a professional. And she was, because I remember there was a, I remember watching like on ESPN or something over the years, like, you know, you see billiards, professional billiards or whatever. And there would be like these girl or women um, billiards players and they would dress all in black, you know, and look all sexy and everything and tough. And that's what this girl was doing. She, but I don't think she was just anybody famous. I think she just was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a professional pool player, and this is how they dress or whatever. I don't know. But she, so she was there to make some kind of point about how she could play, I guess. And I ran the table on her, played one game. She left. She just jetted out of there. She was so pissed off. And um, I don't know if she ever became a, maybe. I saved her from years of humiliation. I don't know. Maybe she gave up her little dream right there. But the funny thing is, I mean, if my cousin Dan watches this video, he can attest to the fact that I'm not the greatest pool player. I mean, we played, we shot some pool over the years. I mean, there's nothing special about my pool playing abilities. I'm not a wizard of the of the felt or whatever, you know. I mean, I'm just like a dude who I play. I, I haven't. I, it's been years since I even shot pool, and even back in those days, I, I probably only would shoot pool. I don't know, maybe once or twice a year, or a few times a year, or whatever. And then I just ran the table, man. I've, and I've never, I had never done anything like that. I never even come close to running the table before that, or after, or since. Never. So that's weird. How does that happen? How does um, you know, like we play that game of two on two and 
you know, I'm not 